All right, so we're gonna troll these guys. Spanish mackerel and king mackerel is hopefully what we're gonna get doing this right now. So, you ready? Looks like some macro life. So thankfully shark activity has been pretty low for the most part, so I'm happy about that. I'm coming up on my destination where I'm gonna start trolling around. Uh, yeah, let's see. It's odd we didn't get anything on the way out. That's not a good sign. Speaking of the devil. King mackerel. Speaking of the devil. Fun on this light rod too, man. Is that a king? I think it is. Little king mackerel. Oh, nice Spanish, man. Wow, that's a nice one. Look at that. That is a nice Spanish mackerel, my friends. Look at that Spanish, man. Fat. Beauty. Come on, I almost had it. That's a good size Spanish Mac, man. We're gonna put him back though. He should survive, I'm guessing. Beautiful. All right, man, that was cool. I like it, like it gets me in the mood. It's my first time using these, um, these little squid skirts, so. You gotta, you gotta thank, uh, you gotta thank Randy Clark for showing me that. King mackerel, baby, All right? Little one. Oh, nice Spanish, man. He's getting, they're getting pretty big now, huh? Look at that. Beauty. That is a real nice one. Tuna shakes. They're pretty, not too crazy about handling these things as long as I. Oh, come on, man. Nice one. Ooh. Cool. Oh, it's a lot of fish down there. Really want to cast to these things, but there's too many guys trolling, man. This is not a good idea for me. I think we had our fun. Let's go jig. It's a three quarter ounce VMC jig head and five and a half inch Elias Shad and White. Give us a minute and then we're gonna set up somewhere else. Hit a couple different things. Perhaps Cobra Kai is here. Perhaps he isn't though. Might get a nice red here too. There are usually some redfish here. Ooh. And on the way down, it feels interesting, whatever it is. Might be a Spanish man. I don't know, we'll find out. What is that? A fucking giant lizard fish? Spirit animal? What is that? Oh, cool. A little jack. Damn, look at the size of this little football. I don't know if that's an AJ or what. Oh, it's some, uh, I think that's a banded rudderfish. Ooh. Cool, man. Come back to these. The jig, you're gonna jig what was hot the other day. First, we're gonna get this back out there, man. Big pile of fish there, so it didn't surprise me. Uh 
I was actually moving spot to spot to jig some more. Uh, I think this is a king mackerel. Not a big one, but it's got a lot of speed. Yeah, I think I'm going with king on this one. Yeah, it looks like a king mackerel from here. Something like some good old gray meat. These things are fun. Spanish mackerel are almost as big as these kings, though. This might be a giant Spanish, though. I can't tell yet. That's a king. Fun from the kayak, guys. It's fun. Not too big. It's a keeper. I'm, I'm not in it for the meat, man. Even for the things. Just gotta be careful here. Yeah, if you like kings, now's the time, huh? Get this guy out of here real quick. Uh, let's see how badly we hooked him. Don't look good for me. Did he spit it? Oh, he broke it off. Cool. Oh, that's a, probably a 10 pound king. So cool stuff, huh? Fast fighters. Oh shit, maybe the jig one. Look at that on my screen right now. Look like a school of them right under me. Looks like a school of kings under me though. He broke me off so quick, man. <laughs> that was a king down there, too. It's fun, but uh, let's do something different, right? We got two Spanish mackerel, got a king on the troll, and uh, what else did we do? Oh, we got, um, we also got that jack on the Elias shack. So that wasn't a bad jack. So I'm gonna set up and uh, start jigging some of these structures right now. I think that's what I want to do for the rest of the day. I'm good. Uh, I'm good on the troll. Bend the rod a couple times to get some drag. Alright, so we just set up on some structure here on the edge of it. What's that? What is my first? Oh yeah. It ain't summer without him. Right? What's that? Yeah, I didn't keep any of the max. I'm only keeping flounder for the freezer and nah. I'm good. No Spanish, no kings today. I'm good. A lot of bait over here, man. It's good. Oh, that was good. Came back for Oh, God. It's good. It's good. It's something good. Get up here. No, 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 I don't know, what is it? Oh, it hit my shad and it's big, it's pretty big. What is it, what is it? Redfish. Redfish. Nice red. Not what I expected. Not what I expected at all, but still cool. Nice red. He's under the bait. There's a lot of bait over here. I love Elias Shad. And he's got three spots, so we can put him back. I love him. Love these guys. What's that? I think I got a flounder on here. Yeah, it's a flounder. Nice one. 
and he was like living in that freaking shipwreck. We'll take him. Nice one. Go big or go home. He inhaled my shad. He followed that thing into the structure. Like I was like feeling rebarb and all that stuff. So we'll, we'll keep them. They're good to freeze. And uh, he's got a forked tail, check that out. So another average 20 inch Carolina flounder. So we'll take it. Oh shit, that's good. It's a good fish, whatever that is. Flounder. Nice one. He's hanging next to Megalodon. Shutching. That'll easily fit the bill. Money, money, money! Money! Get some more freezer meat, All right? 18, somewhere around there. Beat those lizard fish, that's all. Come on, man, it's dropping stick. I just picked another keeper founder in here. Uh, I think I have my camera off, but yeah, this that guy. What's that? Probably about 17, not too big. Uh, playing with some new colors too, so that's always kind of fun. All right, make a little change here. I'm gonna drop a crab down. Got a couple nice big jumbo mud crabs. Got to compartmentalize out here. There's only so many hours you can fish because the wind kicks up, and then you know you gotta try everything. Really, do. Andrew got the shark on the live bait, which doesn't surprise me. I kind of expected that, so. I want nothing to do with that shit, but here's a big fat mud, muddy buddy. I'm gonna dunk him. If you're the toad, I won't be a happy camper. Nope, you're not the toad. Okay. You're not the toad, I know that. be a red though. I think it's gonna end up being a red. Could be a sheep. Holy crap. That is a big sheep's head. Yeah man! There it is. More donkey sheep's head action. Yeah, I brought a couple mud crabs out with me, you know, because I know Cobia likes that stuff, but man, you gotta be, you gotta be ready for everything out here, guys. Just everything. That's a nice sheep's head. Just another day in the aquarium, right? It's a quick measurement. As we're interesting and in, in seeing. 22, so probably seven pounds, eight pounds, somewhere in there. They're up top. All right, enough of this bottom fishing bullshit. Oh, I just ran over one. What a googan. It was right there. It's barracuda? Oh, man, I hope I brought a tube. Oh, I didn't bring any tubes, man. What's that? Damn, I didn't bring any tubes, dude. Oh, 
Got some huge swim shads. Well, here's a couple of barracuda just hanging out next to the kayak. Uh, there was a couple of cobia in the area too. Uh, not in any numbers, but um, these barracuda are pretty finicky when it comes to anything that isn't live bait. But it was just kind of cool to see them hanging out next to the kayak. So we'll see where this goes. Andrew's a good fisherman though. So I really hope we're gonna see Cobra Kai come out of him. That looks heavy. That ain't no cuda. What you got there, Cap? If it's a shark, I'm just leaving, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna what? I'm sure it's a shark too. I was just telling the audience what happens when you decides to troll live bait in North Carolina nine out of ten times. It's a good way to feel better about yourself and a run, but this is the nine out of ten right here. He's got a dog in there at least. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. that's real. Have fun. I'm so jealous of your shark hookup. Good day, another good day man. I'm gonna start packing the uh, barracuda stuff. We gotta sharpen our cobia game a little bit. That's all the plastics we went through today. Not too bad. All right? No, oh, that guy. Dump out some water out of this cooler. And we're good. All right, so I have vertically jigged. Those are my shads in white. Biggest find of the day came on that. Uh, I think I got another keeper on that. I actually got some shorts on that too, man. Not too surprised. Um, I was putting Procure on it. Where is that stuff? Uh, kind of, kind of messy. Kind of a fan of this stuff. I'm learning here with the flounder. The small gulps with the thin tails. It works, but big stuff seems to be a little more consistent to get some numbers going. And uh, what else? Yeah, no cobia for me. They haven't had the opportunity again. So I'm gonna hit the beach now. It's still a fun day. Uh, I'll have affiliate links to everything. Uh, videos, description, rods and reels used, all that stuff. It's still a pretty good day, man. I cannot complain, so. Having a blast out here, this late spring fishing. Definitely got a lot better than fishing overall. So, getting a little nasty out here. Let's roll, guys.